All right, Coach, season's just a couple of days away. Every season brings new hope. How exciting is it to, to get the season going? Well, it's exciting. You know, it, it seems like we need more and more time, but somewhere in it, you got to go ahead and play other teams and, and, and just see where you're going to be at. But uh, uh, this is a, a young group in terms of experience together, and uh, I think they're still finding their way a little bit, but uh, outside competition should be really good for us, and I think, I think we're ready for it. Uh, you bring in three from last year that saw a lot of playing time in, in Hines and Osborne and Kamasa. Um, how much are you going to rely on them this season to, to be able to lead this team? Well, early in the year, you know, they, they've got a comfort zone of, of where they've been and what they've done. But uh, then when you combine, you know, Dakota Slaughter and J.J. Thompson and Nick Dixon, uh, those guys have to grow up fast and get used to it also. But they're, they're mature enough to do so. So, uh, you know, uh, like this group, it's, uh, I think we're a deeper group, more athletic group than we've been. Uh, also, additions from a year ago that were out in uh, Chris and and Adonis. Uh, does that add a, a new wrinkle to your game plan down low? No doubt about it. You know we have the opportunity now to absorb more fouls and and do a little bit more in the post with Chris and Adonis with Dan and and then sometimes play them together where we can play a bigger lineup against the more physical teams. So. Uh, makes us a little more adaptable that way, and, and uh, depth is always important. Uh, knock on wood, uh, we avoid injuries. Uh, you mentioned uh, JJ and, and Dakota, a couple of uh, transfers from a couple of big time schools. What do they bring to the table this year? Well, JJ's been through the wars at Houston and SEMO, and, and uh, a veteran point guard that knows how to compete, play hard, uh, got a great maturity about him, great leadership. Uh, and then Dakota Slaughter the same way. Uh, didn't play as many minutes, but played at Alabama and, and uh, has the kind of leadership and ability to, to come in and, and uh, really have a good year for us. An excellent shooter for a four-man. He can really stretch a defense. Uh, this season you play, I believe, 10 teams that were postseason participants last, last year. Um, how important is it to, to get some wins against them to be able to go where, where you ultimately want to go? Well, it's all about winning enough games for us to have a chance to get into the postseason. You know, we go into the year with certain goals, and, and uh, one of them is to try to get 20 wins. Uh, the most important, of course, is to win the regular season WAC championship, and then thirdly, to win, you know, the WAC tournament. So the WAC tournament then gets you in the NCAA, but a positive record gets you in NITs and, and uh, other tournaments, you know. so. Uh, we'd like to play ourselves into an opportunity with a positive record to get into a postseason tournament, but uh, more importantly, we'd like to compete for the WAC championship. And finally, uh, in order to have a, a successful season, what, what do you think needs to be done most importantly? I think we have to be a consistent defensive team. I, 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 think, uh, I think we're going to shoot the ball pretty well at the three line. Uh, we've got to continue to get to the free throw line like we have been in the fall offensively. Those two things I think will be important for us, but really consistently being able to make it difficult on the other team will be a, a, a really great goal for us. Now, it'll be tough these first two games because Miami and North Florida are loaded with veterans, but uh, hopefully we can rise to the challenge.